All right, Rick, let's pick up. You you did a, a show last night about the monorail? Yeah, I just did one last night uh, because I had I had these tips that were building up in my head. I, I always feel the pressure. i got to get it out, you know. Yeah, it's creative. That's an artistic thing. Yeah. And um, I, uh, you know, people ask, is, 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 is this the monorail worth it? Is it is, you know, because it's like six, seven bucks a pop. You know, each way. Is it the ride. monorail broke down half the time? You never know if it's going to be working or not. You know, it's a 50-50 shot. You know, it's electric. <laughs> so 50. it's electric. 50-50. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have a 50 percent chance of making it to your destination. Right. Yeah, good. Well, I tell you, when they first doing that thing to uh, before they could get it to operate, they had to do 50,000 dry runs, uninterrupted, flawless. And, you know, it took them almost a year and a half to do that because they kept having problems. Jesus. So things could, because it was fully automated. Yeah. They uh -huh. didn't have any uh, oh, the conductors yeah. doing it. Yeah. Right. So for it, before the state would sign off and say, okay, you can carry passengers, it had to pass this dry run test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, oh, it would just stop in the middle, like on this corner here. It stopped one time and the doors fucking opened and it would be like... <laughs> the people pop out like monkeys, yeah. what happened? Uh, a couple of... Uh, <laughs> Couple wheels fell off. Jesus. Oh, oh yeah. And it's a brand new piece of machinery, eight hundred million dollar project, and fucking wheels are falling off hitting Japanese cars made on the road. Or something, yeah. right? you know, no, not Canada. American. We're Canada. 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 Oh, Canada. This thing was made. Same place the monorail was made for Disneyland. Those rotten bastards. <laughs> Those rotten bastards. <laughs> can't trust them. Can't trust them. They tried to sweep the bag in Vegas. Oh man. So, so um. You know, I just did a show. I go, you know what? If you are disabled in any way or physically handicapped, this is very hard for you to use because you have to walk all the way from your casino mm -hmm. out to the back yep. where you can get onto it. Right. Which is, you know, they got these stations that are that are right here that are. Yeah, well, you the stations are, are placed so poorly. Yeah. Right. It's so ri absolutely yeah. ridiculous because you have to walk through a maze of the casino and they don't yeah. put them in good spots they yeah. make you they, they strategically place them there's the one for the yeah. flamingo right yeah. there right over there is the one for the flamingo it's you the very back you got to way out to the back yeah. back here yeah. you're, you're, you're a good block and a half a couple city blocks away yeah. from from, and, get from using it yeah and so hope, and hope that you don't get yeah. mugged on exactly. top of it right. yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you're saying it's an elaborate mouse trap Right. That usually doesn't work when the wheels pop off and the monkeys jump out when the doors pop open. Well, if the doors open and you jump out and there's nothing there, don't be surprised. <laughs> there you go. But what, you go. but what I find is that the, the amount of walking you end up having to do because right. they make you go from the back of the casino to the front of the casino to the back to the front, that you could have walked the strip and, 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 and <laughs> saved the money. Right. Or right. get a cab and been there. Half Ten time. times faster. Half no, no, time more half faster. Price. Oh, yeah. half price. Here's right. another one. Here's another one. I mean, let's talk about the deuce now. I mean, it, it seems like a good value during the day. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no traffic and this, that, and the other thing. You spend right. seven dollars. Sure. Get you around all day. Sure. But you know what? If you plan on having dinner reservations, the show reservations, and you're trying to get through the strip in the middle of the night, plan. you end up missing your hundred dollar show because you wanted to save two dollars on the on the taxi. Plan your time accordingly. You know, I figure I'm on vacation. My time is at a premium. I don't want to be spending an hour and a half on a bus. That's right. Right. To get to my dinner date again, where you might be late, you might miss half of it. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. We missed another important fact. You're talking about seven, seven, seven bucks on the deuce. When you split a cab fare, it ends up cheaper three quarters of the time. Completely. Right. I mean, you it's can ridiculous. get from one end to the other. Where from from MGM to Sahara. Probably for about the same price, around 13, 14 bucks. Yep. And it would cost you right. to take that. Yeah. And you, you can always score people in line sometimes, too. You know what I'm saying? Just hanging around, you might all be going to the same place. Yeah. You know? It's a joke. It's, uh, well, let's talk about, I want to talk about, the, I want to talk about how you got started blogging. How, what, what was the what was the motivation? We 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 were just frustrated. You wanted to get things out. You had a bunch of knowledge. You wanted to share with people. What was it? Well, there was that too. But you know, I think just my uh, curiosity of how to do it. You know, I listen to Leo a lot, and how podcasting just became so easy anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. And everybody blogs about everything, and I'm like, you know, I got some pretty good ideas in my head yeah. about how you could really make vegas a little bit more enjoyable for you how easy it is to get a cab if you really know how to do it how, right. you know how you can not drag around your luggage for eight hotels <laughs> just check it somewhere you know <laughs> you can check it anywhere yeah and i would just see people doing dumb things every day and just go god there's got to be something i can do to help them you know it was like moses you had to leave in the promised land <laughs> <laughs> moses that's yeah. what it is he's talking yeah. moses yeah. 
And oh. you know, I have a, a I have a high. I don't have it with me today, but usually I carry my. I got a high def uh, Sony video cam. Yeah. That uh, I usually I have. Velcro is my friend. Velcro oh. is my big time friend. And there you I go. Have, from NASA. Velcro. Uh, there you just, go. Everything sticks everywhere. My eye touch and everything yeah. just stays. Yeah. And. Um, Usually I put it there, and everybody always says, oh, Cash Cab? And I go, sure, you want to play Cash Cab? I'll play Cash Cab. Except what we're going to play for real money. <laughs> you lose, you're going to pay me. Nice. You know? Nice. Hello. But I'm going to ask the question. Oh, uh, here you go. But, um, yeah, and really just doing websites is something that comes naturally to me because I did them uh, oh years back. Uh, when I lived in San Diego, I just started doing them for some porn guys down there. Nice. And, yeah. Yeah. Some guys had a bunch of pictures, and they wanted to sell them, and we wanted to start our own porn site. This is when porn was like the big thing. Oh, yeah. porn, porn was growing. Internet. This porn is insider growing. information yeah. right here. Wow. <laughs> and I, uh, I had two websites. One was, uh, and this was back when you registered a website. It was 150 bucks oh, yeah, to yeah, register yeah, the right. domain. Yeah. And we we had two websites. Our porn was badcity.com. Bad city. Badcity.com. Oh. And the other one, our web design was intotheweb.com. Okay. And. Uh, you know, God, we started it. It was great. It was going well. And this guy came up to us and said, hey, uh, I got some legal pictures, you know, because he would, uh, he, he, would make, yeah, yeah, he would make porn videos. Yeah. And all the girls that he would audition or whatever, he would take the pictures of yeah. to interview them. And um, he had all these legal pictures. And, you know, that's the product you want. Right. And right. he had the waivers signed and everything, so we just said, okay, you give us the pictures and we'll build you your website. My hosting. Yeah, so that's what we kind of did, and, uh, uh, you know, it, it went from there. And we had, I'll never forget the day that uh, Yahoo, we submitted our site to Yahoo, and we just had our site on a little tiny server. It was no big deal. Oh. Fucking Yahoo puts us <laughs> number one. Uh oh. If yeah. you typed in porn, sex, or whatever, we oh, were like Jesus. the top. Link and it was like all of a sudden the guy from the from our my 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 internet provider's like dude what's going on I go what are you talking about he goes we just crashed and it's your website <laughs> <laughs> three million hits in you fifteen minutes I'm like uh -oh. what now you got to remember this was before I knew all the relationships of what bandwidth was I was putting yeah, pictures yeah, yeah, up right. in there with five hundred kilobytes yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. so all of this you know. He was like, dude, no, you gotta take those pictures and, uh, you know, trim them down to like 100, 100 kilobytes or something, right, you know, because right. you're gonna pay for all this. And oh, I'm like, Jesus. what are you talking about? Uh -oh. Well, to send a picture through the pipe, everybody that hits it is sending that through. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, he's like, man, you won't, yeah, and you've only got like this and that. I think our first bill was like three grand or oh, something like that. I'm like, boy. oh, shit. <laughs> So, uh, luckily, we had enough advertising on it, the banner ad shit, you know, yeah. it was all yeah. funny and all well and good. I had a couple, but we, you know, we got through it, he gave us a break on the bill, because we didn't know, it was just stupidity. Right. And, uh, you know, it's just always been in me, you know, since 1972, when I signed up for computer time in New York, and uh, wow. it was an IBM Selectric typewriter that, uh, it was no screen, it was uh, a typewriter that went... <laughs> Your screen was being printed out on a piece of paper. Christ. All text. Wow. Well, listen, before we get to the airport, you got to tell us exactly how people can find you. Uh-huh. And uh, let's, let, we'll do that before we run out of time, just in case. Okay. You can find me. Oh, really easy. Twitter is uh, just Vegas Cabby. Okay. And uh, that's pretty simple. Yep. And uh, my website is thevegascabby.com. Okay. And from there, you can follow... Um, you, you also have, you have like, a ton of y uh, YouTube videos. I've seen stuff on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. You can go to YouTube. Uh, just search Vegas Cabby. Yep. You yellow, can just yellow. Google Vegas Cabby and probably find me all over the place. Yep, that's right. Uh, but, yeah, YouTube forward slash Vegas Cabby. You can subscribe to my videos. As a matter of fact, I'll put this one up on, on YouTube tonight. Cool. And cool. Uh, since I just did my other... Uh, and, and people can find, I'll post this interview too on my site, Vegas, okay. li, vegaslinks.blogspot.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and it'll be fun. I'll probably, I probably won't get to it for about four or five days. So sure. people come to, 
go see uh, Vegas uh, Cabbie first because it'll be there first. Absolutely. Hey. So what do you guys do? Good what thing do I you do? my hair, huh? You know, yeah, you're gonna be on video, do. huh? <laughs> on video. So what, what do you guys video? do? What got you started blogging? What's uh, this all about? Well, the whole thing is, I've been out to Vegas myself since I was 21. So right. it's my 36th time in Las Vegas. Jesus. Like you said in one of your uh, blog episodes before, you know, hey, you stop coming, someone else will fill your place. Right. So yeah. 